making money on Upwork, what you need to truly know. I'm Laura from Better Biz Academy and SixFigureWritingSecrets.com and I'm covering a really controversial topic. Can you still make money on Upwork even though so many people have the perception that the market is saturated and that it's a race to the bottom? Well, let me start off with this powerful fact from my business in 2017. Upwork wasn't even my biggest source of leads, but it was a $47,000 pipeline of leads for me in 2017 alone. In the past, it's been a bigger percentage of my overall bottom line, but as I've grown my business through referrals, word of mouth, and other channels such as LinkedIn, Upwork's become less and less important. However, it's still a vital piece of my business. You'll see plenty of people out there telling you never ever to use Upwork, many of them on YouTube telling you that it's the worst thing you could ever do for your freelance business. But I'll ask you, do you have another way to get warm leads? Do you have another way to get those pre-sold leads or those people who already have made the decision to outsource to a freelancer? And are you consistent with those results? I see a lot of people out there who are working on methods that aren't converting into real sales. That's great if you have a cold email campaign that converts one out of every 25 people you send an email to. But given all the time you have to put in to write a personalized pitch, to find the company, to verify their income, to go through all the hoops, to get on a phone call with them, if you're not converting very many of those, you are leaving money on the table, you are losing money, whereas Upwork can be a much faster source of business. Now, who is Upwork right for? It's right for the person who can position themselves against other freelancers. On Upwork, it's not only about showcasing your talents, it's about showing to a client why you may be a better choice than other freelancers. Yes, you're going to have to compete. And guess what? The clients who want the race to the bottom on price alone probably weren't your ideal clients anyways. Here's a news flash: don't bid on those jobs. Don't take it personally when it goes to someone who quoted cheaper. Keep working to find those gems and high quality clients. I know this because I have multiple high quality clients, many of whom I've worked with for so long that they've come off the platform after the two year rule expires about how long you have to work with a client on Upwork. And we now work together privately. So yes, I paid a percentage of the original earnings to Upwork and I pay a monthly fee to Upwork. But in exchange for the amount of money that that has generated in my business, by delivering leads to me that I never would have otherwise encountered, pre-sold warm leads ready to buy, it's an easy business expense. I definitely see it as an investment in my business to pay $10 a month to be a member of Upwork and generate thousands in return. And for all those people who panic about the idea of the 20% cut that Upwork takes, here's a pro tip. Factor it into your proposal fee. Increase your rates by 20% and pass that cost along to the client. You don't even need to tell the client that you're doing that. It might confuse them further. I used to even tell my clients, hey, this price includes the Upwork fee. They know you're paying a fee for being on Upwork. However, you get the peace of mind of Upwork's money protection and escrow service. I can't tell you how many times I and other freelancers have had to chase down money from freelance clients off of Upwork who don't pay their bills. Guess what? The number of clients I've had who I had issues getting payment from on Upwork with over 400 clients, three. I don't even want to count the number of people I've had problems with getting payment from off the Upwork platform. I know it's more than a dozen. I've had to chase down money, enforce contracts, hire debt collection agencies, you name it. So having that escrow service, especially as a new freelancer, gives you a great deal of peace of mind and clarity that you have that protection there should you need it if you're using the platform the right way. A lot of people ask, well, how can I make money on Upwork when there's so many other freelancers? Freelancing is the fastest growing section of the workplace. More freelancers, there'll be more freelancers than any other type of employee in the next 10 years. So because of that, there are massive opportunities and companies are finally seeing the benefit in hiring freelancers because they don't pay health benefits, they don't have to rent office space, they don't have to deal with all of that overhead and they get to partner with an experienced professional for a meaningful budget that gives them exactly what they're paying for. There's no hidden surprises and the freelancers are very knowledgeable and often experts in their area. So it makes the perfect partnership because companies are now ready to outsource and because the freelance marketplace is going to grow tremendously. So if you've been writing Upwork off because you think it's not for you, I'm gonna tell you a cold hard truth. You're not using Upwork properly. Every time you bash it, it makes me and other Upworkers more money because those people never end up on the platform, but I want to see more people having success with Upwork because 
all too often they're not being successful on the platform for one reason or another that is easily tweaked and fixed and it's the result of not thinking of Upwork with the right mindset and not using the tools available to you there. There are bad clients everywhere. There are bad clients through any means of marketing. If you know how to use Upwork and make it work for you effectively and grow a powerful job success score and reputation and feedback on Upwork, you will see your freelance earnings skyrocket as a result. For more tips on using Upwork, check out betterbizacademy.com and the Better Biz Academy podcast.